Morning guys. I'm actually knackered. I hate, I hate, hate, hate waking up in the morning. And also I look awful. Like, I put pseudocrome on my face last night. So now my face looks well oily. And look at my hair. I hate waking up in the morning. To be fair, it's not as bad because it's actually quarter past nine. Um, because I don't have to go to school today until 1.40. I'll explain it a bit in a bit because i'm so tired that i thought like i can't explain it um because i'm knackered but um basically i'm just gonna like because i basically woke up uh, like a lot earlier than i would have had to because like i'm obviously filming so i'd rather spend time in filming and i don't have to rush to get ready i can show you guys everything i do um i like an all right pace without having to like rush to get ready to leave um so i'm gonna basically just sit on my phone for like 15 minutes go on tiktok probably or like go on any social media probably tiktok but i always feel like in the morning i always go on tiktok wake myself up but i basically end up falling back asleep but not like a deep sleep so my eyes are just shut and the same tiktok is replaying about 500 times because like I just, I'm not swiping, or like, I'll just be watching the TikTok, but like, I'm not watching it, like, I have no idea what the TikTok is, or what's going on, but I just try and do it just to like, wake myself up a bit, because like, if I fall back asleep, I'll literally fall asleep, like the other day, oh my god, I literally fell asleep, and then woke up at 7.30, and I leave at quarter past, no, I leave at 10 to 8, and I literally had 20 minutes to get ready. I literally shot up and literally rushed around my room just to get ready. Um, and that also, because I go six when I put my makeup on as well, and that obviously takes... Actually, to be fair, my makeup's actually taking me well quick. It only takes me like 10 minutes now. It used to take me like half an hour. Actually, in the old days, it used to take me like an hour. And that literally takes me 10 minutes. So, I'm going to bring you along with my morning. Okay, I was in bed a bit longer. I was in bed for like... What was my home for? 25 minutes not 15 minutes but i'm gonna get out of bed oh my god i look awful okay i'm gonna brush my i always get oh my god and comment below are you like a morning person where you literally get up with like loads of energy or are you like always well tired because i'm really tired but ava can just get up and have like so much energy as soon as she wakes up i don't get it right okay, so i'm gonna brush my teeth I don't know why, but I can't get ready without having my teeth brushed. Like, I have to do it first because, like, I just hate getting ready with, like, not having my teeth brushed. Because I like the, like, the minty taste in my mouth. Okay, I brush my teeth and then I just splash my face with water. I feel like if I wash my face in the morning and at night, it makes my skin worse because, I don't know. So I just always wash my face just with water in the morning. And then I use this sun cream. Um, it's actually a sun cream that's only for your face. Um, and honestly, I use it at night as well because um, I saw this thing that says sun cream gets rid of like scarring and blemishes. Like, you know, like when your spot goes, but it leaves like scarring. Um, and this has actually been really, really helping. Like, I actually noticed a difference. And also, like, sun cream is so good to use anyways because even if it's like not well sunny, there's still like some reason stuff that can damage your skin. So it's always good to wear some sort of sun cream, even if it's a moisturizer of SPF. I say this but I literally started doing it like not even that long ago. Just rub it in. It's actually it's like nice because I love the smell of sun cream. I don't know why. If you were doing my face in the morning, I really can't be bothered to actually do a whole skincare routine. Okay, now I'm gonna do my hair. There was like a whole thing that was like you do your hair and makeup first. I always do my hair first because I feel like I don't know, like my hair like first of all I hate doing my hair when I like makeup on because I feel like all my hair goes in my makeup. And then also, like, I feel like when your hair's done, it changes your makeup look. So I'd rather have my hair done while I'm doing my makeup. To um, I literally had a shower last night, so that's why I'm not having a shower in the morning. I hate, hate, hate having showers in the morning. Because I'm like, I'd rather have that extra 15 minutes to sleep. So I always wash my hair at night. I use some of like, Grace's like, products as well. She bought all like these products to make your hair like thicker and stuff i mean obviously i'm not going to notice a difference in one use but her hair seems to get a lot thicker um i'm using the ghd platinum plus 
Um, I'll go to my birthday. I actually say my name on them. Ta-da. I think it's my birthday. I've gone for Christmas. I don't know what I'm saying. But they're literally like the best hair straighteners I've ever had. Like, they literally just straight... Like, you know how, I, like, normally with straighteners, you have to, like, go over it maybe, like, a few times? Well, these you don't. And it actually heats up, like, well quickly. Um, I'm not doing... I never do anything fancy with my hair. I literally just straighten it and that's it. I wish I knew how to, like, style my hair nicely. And then... Because I feel like my hair's quite boring. So it's literally just straightened down. Like, I feel like I kind of want, like, bangs. But, like, not the ones that are, like... Not the ones that make you look a bit like a fringe, but like what I've got were just a bit more shorter, I think. Because I feel like mine are just like short front bits, but I want like, I want to be able to style them as well. I need to get like a roller or something to like be able to style them. And also when I got them cut, I thought I had a middle part in. So then obviously like when I was getting a cut, they were like, oh, do you have, um, is your hair like a middle part in? So I was like, yeah, because I thought it was. And now I've realised it's actually like a bit off, like a tiny bit off centre, which makes it the fact that this side is less hair than this side of the bangs. So it's annoying, but oh well, I'm just gonna get it this side cut more. Do you know what I've only just like realising that, do you know that if you just straighten your hair like this and do both sides, that the back doesn't mean it's straight. So like I have a mirror there so I can always see like in the reflection if the back of my hair's straight. But I thought your hair's just automatically straight. So that means I've been going like out this whole time with like the back of my hair not fully straight. But like, it's not like wavy, but it's like still got like kinks in that in. That's not the straightest. Okay, basically my mirror isn't angled so I can't actually see the back of my hair. So I just have to like make a guess. Even though my hair isn't greasy, but I don't get it yet. Every time I wash it the night before, I feel like it's always like, it's not greasy, but it's like, it feels, it looks a little bit greasy, but it's not. I don't know how to describe it, but I always do dry shampoo, even if my hair isn't greasy, because it just gives it loads of volume. I like how my hair. Lots of volume, and to these bang things to like drop over my face slightly. I do. But then for now, I'm just gonna talk about my ear. So I really can't wait to like deal with it in my face. Now I'm gonna make my bed. I always put my TV back in. This TV is honestly a lifesaver. I love to go to sleep with like noise in the background and I always used to have like my phone and my laptop on. But then when I used to have my laptop on, I did break it once because I laid on it in, my, in the night. So the TV is actually a lifesaver and I actually love it. Yeah, my bed's such like a because it's like in this with the walls, it's really hard to make the bed. So I have to like sit on it to make all like the cushions nice. I'm just gonna like pull it over or something. I don't really know what I do. I just kind of throw it over to make it look somewhat neat. And then oh, if you see all the pink cushions down there, because I make a border because I get so many spiders, I get scared that they're down the sides of my bed. So I just like, make a little border around my room, around my bed with these cushions because then I think men, in my head it means the stars can't get me. I know they can, but like, I think I actually want to get like colored sheets. Like, I don't know what color yet, but just colored sheets to make it the room because everything's very white in my room. Mate, I don't know where this came from. I gave it to Chloe ages ago. I don't know why it's in my room all of a sudden, but everything in my room is very white. So I thought like if I get like a color of the bed sheets, it will make, it will kind of bring the room together if that makes sense. Sometimes when I go in later to school, it's honestly so much better because I feel like getting ready is just so much nicer. Like, cause you know like in the morning, like you're tired and you're having to rush because like you wanna be, you have to be like at school. It's just miserable. But this way I can get ready and not have to rush about anything. Don't know how I'm gonna set this camera up really. I'm gonna talk about my, lessons today i just i was going to explain it when i wasn't so tired um but basically um every wednesday i only have one lesson and like we basically have like two weeks and it changes between the weeks of like our timetable week two or week one no week week two monday um i always have wednesday and the lessons in the morning so i finish school at half nine but then this wednesday on week one the lessons at the end of the day at 1.40. So I said I have to leave my house until about like 1.15. But 
I'll probably leave at one so I can be early with my friend. But it just makes, this is like my first time actually going in this late because basically I did sociology but I dropped it for criminology because criminology, all my friends are in it and it's more interesting. Sociology was awful and I hated it. Um, so that's why I've changed to that. So then it made my timetable different. Um, and then Fridays I finish early as well, I finish at 12. So I'm gonna meet my nan for lunch on Friday. I really like like my timetable because it means I have like loads of free periods and like times when I can just go out and do my own thing or like go home. She loves sixth form. I think it's just, it doesn't feel like so much to school because you're only going for like a few lessons. Anyways, I'm gonna do my makeup now. Um, I used to use the Fenty Beauty, this foundation. It's like a tinted moisturizer more than like a foundation. It used to just even up my skin tone. But I kind of given up with that because I feel like, I don't know, it just makes my skin worse because I'm putting on every day. Look how bad my skin is. Like it literally got clear and now it's come back. I do like a dot. I'm using the Dior concealer it's actually really really good and i always do it down my nose in my spots i actually can't believe myself i forgot to prime i'm gonna have to take it off because primer literally otherwise my face goes dry, so dry with makeup on i have to prime i'm not in like i don't know i'm not really focusing i'm just trying to focus on filming it rather than what i'm actually doing okay so first of all i actually prime um this is actually really good. It's like it's like a um, face moisturizer, but it's also a primer, and it's the Bobbi Brown one. And my auntie saw Molly May recommend it, and then she recommended it to me. Um, but it's actually really good, although it's quite pricey. It was like forty five, and it's quite pricey. But to be fair, it's last it lasts quite a long time because a little bit goes a long way. So. It's kind of worth, yeah, you do, it's like worth the money, I think, but it wouldn't hurt to be a little bit cheaper, but it is also really good. Like, it makes your face feel so, like, moisturised. Okay, now I'm going to skip that stage of concealer because I already showed you what I do. Okay, now I've got my concealer set out. I'm just going to go in. Morphe Beauty Blenders are honestly the best thing ever. Like, I really recommend getting one. Okay, that's how good... Like, it's just made it less red and less obvious and less in your face. Um, basically, I've been using... I got this in, like, a tester thingy. It's, like, the L'Oreal Mercier um, powder. Because I wanted to get the big one, but they didn't sell it when I was there. I don't really, like, properly bake in that. I literally just... I get, like, a brush like this. And then I just dip it in there. And I just, like, dab it under my eyes. I don't actually properly bake because I never really saw like a difference where if I did that or just did this. I don't really understand the difference to be honest. Now for the eyebrows. The eyebrows done. I just use two strokes like following my brow line and then when I get to the front I literally just do like light strokes upwards. Okay, that's it for my eyebrows and then I just get this eyebrow gel. I actually need to get more of this because I'm running out. But I just like, let me get it out. I just like put it on. Basically, I'm running out, so I only have it on the flat bit, if that makes sense. And then I just brush my eyebrows out. Okay, now I'm going to go in with the Fenty Beauty Cream Bronzer. This is actually really good because it makes it, it makes your it gives your face like a glow instead of like a matte bronzer look. And then I used to have a really really good brush for it, but I actually lost that brush, so I use this for now. But I feel like you have to like really get it off to make it have a difference on your face, if you know what I mean. Like I don't know if I need a darker colour for it to like come out more, if that makes sense. But I feel like. It takes a while until you can actually like see a colour. I've only used like recently I've just used it here because I used to like really bronze like here as well to like make my whole face look like really summer and kiss glow. Does that mean same makes sense? I don't even know what I'm talking about honestly. Um but now I've only just done it up here just to like give my face more of a lift than like it all here. I used to make my cheeks look a lot bigger. 
I always feel like one side goes better than the other, like every time. I just know that I'm gonna go back in with the contour in a bit because I feel like when I put my blush on, it makes my contour disappear. But this blush, if if I recommend anything, it's this. It's the Fenty Beauty Cream Blush, and it's genuinely amazing. The only problem is, is because it's cream, it picks up a lot of dirt. Like, can you see? It's like quite dirty. Like, is there black bits in it? Yeah. But my brush doesn't have black bits on it, so I don't really understand it. I'm using my KCJ brushes, and then I just go upwards as well with this. I don't really put it on my cheeks. Blush is done. And then I feel like I look worse on the camera than I do in the mirror. Like, I always feel like the camera just makes me look worse because the makeup looks different on in real life than on the camera. Okay, now I'm gonna go in with the NARS bronzer. Again, this is actually really, really good. And basically, I use this brush. It's actually from Primark. It always makes me look... It gives me... I love a very bronze makeup look because I feel like it looks more summery. And because I don't do foundation, I feel like I need the bronzer to make it look like I have more makeup on than I do, if that makes sense. Bronzer just changes my whole face completely. And I love it. And then I always add more blush because then I feel like when I put more bronzer on, my blush disappears. Basically... Where I just keep on going around in circles, adding more of the same product because I feel like the other thing washes it out. Like now I feel like I have the right balance. Okay, I always go in with a beauty blender just to like blend it a little bit because I feel like the lines are very harsh. I use this, which is the YSL liquid highlighter. Um, but I always do the line down my nose. And also it blends really easily. Like I can just go over my finger like this. It gives you like that glow down the nose without like being like a highlighter and you can also it's like precise because you can put it exactly where you want it and then that's like my base and then now i'm gonna do my mascara and i'm going in with the Too faced better than mascara and it has like really really nice diamonds i really like this ball but it's actually run out i'm using the normal one when i have my mascara on it just pulls the whole makeup look together like if i'm ever doubting my makeup i just put mascara on and then i realize i like it okay i always plan my outfits the night before because i I basically it takes me ages to make, think of an outfit because I feel like it's just so difficult thinking, choosing outfits. And today I've chosen, so I've got this vintage t shirt, it's like this. And then I've got these Zara jeans, which were so long I had to cut them because I literally, my shoes, it would go over my shoes. So that when I was walking, I was literally stepping on the jeans. Um, so I cut them and then I try to pull them out as much as possible to make it look like they're meant to be like that. Little transition. Ta-da! And just like that, I'm dressed. This is the fit. Um, I'm not, I'm not that keen on it. I feel like I might need like high tops because I feel like because where the jeans have gone like quite short, I feel like. They don't sit nice in the Air Forces. I have the green ones, they don't really go because this ain't green. I put on this Playboy hoodie and it has green on it, so I'm gonna wear the green Jordans. But it doesn't really go with the t-shirt because the colours don't really go. If I put this one, I'm probably gonna be sitting down in lessons. Why am I I care that much? I'm literally going in for an hour. Right, I'm just gonna wear the green Jordans and then hopefully I won't get cold because the jacket really doesn't go. But we also might as well crop tops in my sixth form. So let's just hope they don't see me. Okay, I'm now teleport downstairs because um it's 10.44, so obviously I, it only takes me, it's only taken me like an hour and 10 minutes because if you think I got better, I got out of bed at half past nine, but oh, I've actually lost track of four. It only takes like 40 minutes to get ready in the morning, but I've actually decided that because I have, normally in the mornings, yeah, I don't feel hungry at all, um, so I don't actually eat breakfast, but I also have never, I never have time to eat breakfast. But I've just decided that I'm going to make an iced coffee. Oh, that noise is horrible. I literally made an iced coffee yesterday because I was literally falling asleep in my room. And I was like, I don't actually want to fall asleep. But I don't want to be tired anymore. So I was like, okay, I'm going to make an iced coffee. And it actually woke me up for the rest of the day. Like, I literally stayed awake until 2. Which, bear in mind, yeah, I said I was so tired. And I actually then stayed awake from 2 just for one coffee. I'm not even joking. I make the best iced coffees. I actually hate coffee. Like, still now, I hate coffee. But I don't know what it is, but my iced coffees are so good. I'm going to feel bougie and drink out of a Starbucks cup. But, I mean, I don't have one. Um, Grace and my dad have one, but they've already used them. So I can't use that. So I have to get a regular glass. Boring.
I always put the honey in first because then the hot coffee melts it so it's not so like when you're drinking it doesn't come in clumps of honey. Got the coffee. Okay, this part it always spills over because it's a mug and a glass, it never goes in. Like you know when it goes like down the back of the thingy. Oh my god, I did it, I did it. I did it without spilling it over. Okay, this is how much coffee I put in. I mean, I did put a bit more in than I usually would. And now I'm gonna add the milk. Okay. My dad actually has this French vanilla syrup. Oh look, I can put it here. No hands. Put about one of these in it. Mix it. Straw, now for the taste test. That is good. Honestly, I don't know what it is. I just make such good iced coffees. Bear in mind, I used to not even drink coffee. Now I make the best iced coffee. I bet even Grace asked me to make hers because I'm that good. Normally in the mornings, I come downstairs and like fill up my water bottle and stuff to like leave for school. Um, but I'm not going to do that because I literally have ages. So I'm just going to chill, watch TV. Um, and then I'm going to leave my house at one to go to criminology. But I literally have like two hours so yeah thank you guys for watching make sure to subscribe like and comment and also comment if there's anything you do different in your morning routine that than what i do and also um make sure to comment like any video ideas you guys want to see and thanks for watching bye